Making airplanes is the process of turning a pile of dirt into two to six million parts flying in close formation. The manufacturing of these fantastic flying creations has changed many times throughout more than a century of powered flight. From Orville and Wilbur Wright's first flight over 100 years ago to today's technological masterpieces, manufacturing processes have changed significantly. We'll be examining some of the most prominent airplanes through the century to see how aircraft manufacturing techniques have changed the world. First, let's take a look at the aircraft used for the first powered flight. The Wright brothers used craft production to manufacture this airplane. Over a process of two years, they produced a plane primarily of spruce wood. This plane pioneered the aerospace world, leading to more innovations later on. With the ever-increasing demand for greater speeds in aircraft, it has been necessary to remove every possible projection from the outer surface of the airplane. Everything that would induce turbulence with its attendant drag must be reduced to a minimum. The use of a rivet whose head is flush with the surface being riveted eliminates the drag of the ordinary rivet head and thus aids in accomplishing our higher speeds. This is a Douglas DC-3, the first aircraft to implement this flush riveting technique. This tiny change in design and machining resulted in longer flight range and faster flight for the Douglas DC-3 and the planes that followed after it, up to the point where rivets are no longer necessary today. Hey Doc, you better back up. We don't have enough road to get up to 88. Rivets? Where we're going, we don't need. Rivets. Today, rivets are hardly even necessary in some manufacturing designs. Instead of metals, some aircraft are made from composites. Robotics technology has advanced to the point that the Boeing 787 is actually 50% composite by weight. This can result in lighter weight, longer flight distance, and more passenger comfort. The weaving process of the fibers is accomplished with the assistance of loom-like machinery, preparing the fibers and robotic arms to apply the fiber windings to the piece. The sections are then cured with epoxy in a large kiln. As you can see, we have come a long way from craft production by the Wright brothers, to flush riveting in the DC-3, to now almost producing an entire body of an aircraft in only a few parts, almost completely eliminating the need for fasteners of any kind. These changes in manufacturing technologies have resulted in longer, faster, and far more comfortable travel for people around the world. Orville Wright wrote in 1903, the desire to fly is an idea handed down to us by our ancestors, who in their grueling travels across trackless lands, looked enviously on the birds soaring freely through space at full speed above all obstacles on the infamous highway of the air. Wilbur Wright wrote in later years, I confess that in 1901, I said to my brother Orville, that man would not fly for 50 years. Ever since, I have avoided all predictions. 